Hello, I'm making this video for all you dedicated server people out there that are might be having a problem with mail delivery or getting spammed. And I'm going to show you some configuration things that you can do. So if you go to mail delivery reports and click run report, you can see all the mail deliveries coming in and out of your server. Okay, so that's, that's kind of important to establish whether you are getting spammed or not. Okay, but uh, this is what you want to do. The type EXIM and go to the EXIM Configuration Manager. Okay, because you want to stop spammers before they get to your, um, you know, before it gets processed through your mail server. All right. So these are the settings that I recommend. And I manage a lot of dedicated servers. Okay, so I'm going to go down through these one at a time just to help you a little bit. So under your ACL options, you want to enable dictionary attack protection. Okay, a dictionary attack is is whenever somebody starts emailing your server xyz at somedomain.com, pdq at xyz.com, John Shirley. So you want to make sure that that's enabled so you don't have uh, any dictionary attacks. The next thing you want to do is you want to require H-E-L-O before mail, okay? And if you're having trouble finding where this stuff is, you hit Control F and then type it in there. Require H-E-L-O, and it should show up for you. Okay, require H-E-L-O before mail. You want to make sure this is turned on. The next thing you want to make sure is turned on, you require remote and then parentheses domain HTML or H-E-L-O. Okay, you want to make sure that's turned on. And also require RCF compliant. Okay, you want to make sure those things are turned on in your WHM. Okay, now as far as the access lists go, you can leave these all to default or you can adjust them, whatever you want. But I just have mine all to default. Okay, the domains and IPs, these settings should not affect your your mail scanner at all, okay? So, and then go going down to mail, you want to enable the following. Okay, these are the important things to enable that I'm going over. Log sender rates in the EXIM main log. So you want to make sure that this particular one is set to on, okay? Set, to, set that to on. And then you want to reject mail for users over quota. If you have that, you might have something that says bounce. Bounce mail for users over quota or reject. Okay, that's what you want to do. You want to make sure that that's turned on. And then sender verification, you want to make sure that's turned on. So, you know, any spoofers out there, you know, are going to have a harder time trying to, to hack you out. Okay, so... <clears throat> The, you want to disable, I recommend disabling the sender verification callouts. Um, let me show you where that's at right here. We'll type in sender verification callouts. And that's under the mail thing. You want to make sure that that's turned off. Okay. Now, RBLs, this is where a lot of magic happens. You want to make sure that you enable both of these. Okay. These things can really block a lot of spammers whenever, uh, you know, they're trying to hack your server or whatnot. You want to make sure this RBL, BL spam bot, because what it'll do is it'll go take their libraries and it'll it'll uh, reject any known spammers coming into your server. So that's important. Okay, in the security area, you could just leave that thing as default, leave everything on default. Uh, everything with the spam assassin TM mark, spam assassin trademark, if you put that right in here, spam assassin trademark, you want to make sure all those are set to off, okay? All right, they should all be off. So none of the spam assassin options in any of the sections should be enabled if you're running the mail scanner, okay? Because the trick is, is to stop them before they get processed, okay? Spam assassin is you know is part of the pro the process but we want to stop them that in their tracks okay so if once you have everything set what you want to do is hit save just like this and you want to let it go through the process you know don't click off this page until that's done it's not done it's waiting to restart okay so just let that go through the process like that 
All right, now EXIM restarted successfully. If you have to reset before you do all these uh, particular measures and you want to reset it to default, just go back here to reset. All right, and then reset cPanel and WHM XM configure records one option at a time until installed EXIM configuration is valid. And then you just hit reset there. And then you go back to the basic editor and go over the uh, different things that I showed you. Hopefully this video will help somebody out there that's, you know, suffering from spam attacks or spoof emails, dictionary attacks, and so on and so forth. This is Max with Avon Website Pro. Thanks.